I think it's been a year since I first did my gel nail video where it was my first time doing gel nails ever and it's been a journey I've learned a lot along the way made a lot of mistakes that I hope if you watch the first video you're here now to see what I've learned today with the warmer weather I'm going to be doing similar fun every nail is different and if you want to see more nail content give this video a like it would be really helpful for me to know what kind of stuff I should make for you but uh, yeah let's get started my collection continues to grow <laughs> so my nails are pretty crusty right now uh, because we've been starting on the backyard I've been digging a lot being a landscaper usually I love doing nail art on long nails but this is a nice way to show doing nail art on short nails I was super inspired because Stephanie Villa soothing sister just posted that she did nail art on her friend and it was so cute that I was like okay it's been long enough that I've had bare nails and uh, it's time to get back in the game and it's strawberry season oh this is humongo strawberry I drew out everything ahead of time and also listed the colors that I'll be using they're all from bio seaweed thanks to you guys this not this video sorry I got a partnership with bio seaweed diehard fan still a diehard fan one year later and uh, have only been using bio seaweed this year my nails are prepped already and I'll show you how I do checkered nails that's the one that people think is tricky. It's not that tricky, it's just a pain. I don't know why I decided to do checkered nails, but I mean, I love nail art. Did I? Oh, I made two right hands. Hmm. Okay, I get it now. So we start with a base of white. So <laughs> in my previous nail art videos, I was, I showed, ah, I, uh, bought this LED flashlight. I got myself an LED flashlight. It saved a lot of money because I didn't have to buy a nail lamp off Amazon, which was like 60 bucks. If I bought it off AliExpress, it would have been a lot cheaper. I would just have to wait three weeks and I didn't want to wait the three weeks. I'm here to officially say that that was a huge mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. Getting a nail lamp where you could put all your fingers in, multiple fingers in, it could have saved me so much time. Not saying that I won't keep the flashlight for scorpion hunting or checking out jizz spots at hotels. I'd like to make it official here that please don't buy the LED flashlight. It was not a good option. Please just get a nail lamp. So I keep these coats pretty thin since checkerboard is gonna have so much color on it. So for the checkered part, I'm using Teacups. I love bio seaweed, but I have to say that their bottles don't really show what the true colors are. I'll wipe as much of the excess off. I bought these double-ended nail brushes off Amazon that I will link in the description. I love them. Make a grid pattern first. Oh god. Sometimes my brain can't compute. Fill in between the lines and if you've made the guidelines the color won't bleed out with the white i put two coats as the base but with the purple i just like to glob on the single color so that i don't have to go over the lines twice so on this pinky i'll do the orange oh my gosh i don't know why i signed up when I design nails i tend to do most of my complicated nail art on my left hand this color is called orange Dahlia. And I just clean off my brushes with alcohol. I'm doing yin yang on one of my on my thumb. Funny how when I was a kid, I would never wear anything with yin yang on it because I was too scared to be seen as like fobby or too Asian. All of my Sailor Moon stuff, because yeah, I just wanted to fit in with the white kids. But uh, now, now that all these things are coming back trendy, I'm like, well, I'm gonna yin-yang the shit out of everything. So this pink called Marshmallow is gonna be the base of a few of my nails. This one is more of a translucent jelly color. 
but I think I'll layer it on a bit more just to make it more opaque. I'm gonna put the base on for the rest of my fingers. Some people like to do nail art because the end result makes them so happy, but I like to do nail art because the end result and the process makes me happy. What should I do first? I'll do yin yang, like I promised. I like doing it with a square flat brush. I really think whatever tool you like, you should just use, there's no recommended. At the beginning, I used the daughter ends of these tools a lot. So the key that I learned about yin yang is that it's not, you don't start here and draw a line straight down the middle. You actually start somewhat halfway and then you draw your swoop like so. Since the marshmallow is such a translucent color, I'm going to leave the circle. Usually I would dot the color on top. Don't forget your circle. Next one I'll do is flowers. And flowers are very easy because you're just dotting things really. And here as well. I love this yellow. It's just the perfect mango yellow. Strawberry time. This one's directly influenced from Stephanie. One big one here. And then on this one, I'm doing a strawberry party. And I'm using the finest end of the dauber. Strawberries might be my newest favorite. I'm only gonna dot some of it. So cute. Already this has taken half the amount of time simply because I have a nail lamp. While I have the white, I'm also going to do clouds, which is a very easy one to do, and an egg. Try to draw the yolk before I cure it. You'll notice that I tap my fingers. It's just because I'm trying to level it out a bit, but I find that this polish levels, self levels very nicely. So the last time I did this, it took four hours and this time it's taken two. I need to get like a emerald green. <sighs> my favorite finger. It's decided. Smile is gonna be hard to draw. Try again. <laughs> this is what I love about gel, is that when you wipe off your nail, you're only taking one color off. One more try. Confidence. And there we have it. I love this trend of every nail being different. Just use the colors that you like. Nothing brings me more joy than getting little nails done. If you want all the nail oil videos, you can find me on Instagram or TikTok at Q, and I will see you next time. Bye.